If you find the one, you should never give her up I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity First, I like to start off by giving a moment of silence to this day, September 11th. It's just not really a happy day for me. In this video, I'm literally going to be talking about everything that's been going on with me. Like family issues, relationship issues, and just all that type of stuff. I've been dealing with family issues. Like My mother is in the hospital. I'm not going to go into... Um, I'm not gonna go into details of what's going on with her. She's been in there for a while, well, a little while, and I think that's all I'm gonna say on that part because I really don't wanna put my mom's business on here. But because this is really talking about me, I know you guys are probably wondering what happened to the butterflies in that bag. Um, I didn't really feel like this video was a jolly video so I took it down myself because I'm just not feeling it today um, but I'm probably gonna cut out some scenes because those who have been talking to me know that I've been like really really emotional and I don't want to cry on camera yeah so I just feel like my depression has been coming back like really strong and I don't know why, I really don't know why it's bothering me and my anxiety. Um, this talk is going to be all over the place because there's so much going on. I just kind of feel let down by certain people because I feel like I care for people more than they care for me. I love more than people have love for me. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, everyone knows I, I always have my guard up and I felt safe with this person to allow my guard to go down and now, now I just feel like I let my guard down for somebody who doesn't really care for me. I could be wrong, but I just feel like this person does not care for me the way I care for this person. You know? It's kind of hard because dealing with the issue with my mom and dealing with my own stuff, I thought this person would be there for me because in the beginning this person was. Throughout the entire day, I would get text message, even phone calls and, you know, so on and so on. So many stuff from this person and then now it just stops. I hate that I can't trust this person anymore. I still love this person. Um, I saw this meme on Instagram, and it was it said something about I don't know if I'm strong or if I'm numb. At this particular moment, I don't know either. I don't know if this is me being strong or. This is me, like, physically numbing myself so I don't feel pain. Um, that 
this video is kind of hard for me because I feel like this is the only way I can express myself to this person because I don't um I don't hear from this person anymore like in the beginning it was like just a snowball effect like it was a snowball effect me and this person talking and um now I feel like I have to I have to pull a teeth just to get this person's attention and I don't want to do that I don't want to feel like I'm a burden on someone I just really 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 feel let down and then I made a post on Instagram like um I said something about deleting all my social medias and not one person who I have in my life like all the time not one person has reached out to me like hey are you okay but it was this one girl in my um in this group chat that I'm in on Instagram and you know, it wasn't anything big. She didn't like go all out to talk to me, but she sent me a sad face from that story. So I was like, yeah, I'm just, um, you know, I'm going through a lot right now and I just can't deal with this, I did that, I did this, I did that. So I'm just gonna probably just delete everything and she's like I hope she was like I'm sorry you're going through this and I hope you get better I just feel like that that had to have been like under two minutes to write that to me and this girl doesn't know me from a can of paint and she decided to text me and say that to me like I really I appreciate that because it's like okay well somebody does care about me at least somebody reached out to me because at that point I was really 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 at my low like I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I used to do self harm and for a while I stopped like the last time I had did it was uh, maybe 2015 and I don't want to disappoint people maybe a few weeks ago I did self-harm again it wasn't deep it wasn't let me just stop making excuses because I did it again I was in a really dark place. I currently am still in a dark place. And I felt like I didn't, there was no way to cope with life and situations but to do that. So, um, I did it. Um, for a while it felt, um, felt like it was a relief for me but now I just feel like I was um I was already numb I was going to make a video about suicidal attempts and self-harm and stuff because it is September and it is suicide awareness this wasn't supposed to be that video, but it's that video. As a child, I was really depressed and I 
was around situations where I felt like that was normal to do, to cut, to cope with things. And then it got to the point where cutting is not enough for me. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be a living body walking around anymore. So I did some suicide attempts. Obviously it didn't work because here I am. A few weeks ago, I wanted to just end it all. I wanted to just end life. I didn't feel like I belong on her. But then, there's so much going on in my family already. I didn't want my family to have to bury a loved one. And there's already a loved one in the hospital. So, I just decided to do self harm. It's pretty much healing at this point. I'm just in a really, really dark place. And it's like, I don't know how to get out of it. The more I feel like I'm climbing out of it, the more I just get kicked back down. Not a lot of people know this about me. But yeah, I go through it too. I used to hide it back then. I didn't want people to know that I did it also. Um, I wanted to, um, I was gonna allow this to be my last video for you too because I'm just tired, like I'm just physically, emotionally, I'm tired of crying, I'm just, I'm tired of putting this smile on for people to act like I'm great when literally inside I'm screaming for help. I don't want to be fake to you guys, but I don't want to show that side of me either. When I'm at work, I'm all smiling, but really I'm just like, please notice something's wrong with me. Please notice something's wrong with me and just please talk to me. Because I don't have the words to say, I'm going through something, I need some help. I'm not going to say it. I feel like I'm always the go-to person. People come to me for advice. People come to me so I can help them with situations. Like I always get the short end of the stick. I mean, it's fine because I like helping people, but that help me out a little too, you know. I don't know how to deal with this situation. So I'm literally just acting like you guys are my therapist and I'm just putting it all on the table because it's about, it's like, it's time. I'm tired of hiding behind a smile because I'm not happy. And truth be told, my happiness doesn't talk to me like that anymore. And that's one of the things that hurts the most because I told this person, 
You're literally my smile. Like, you're my heart. You are my happiness. I literally don't have words to say because I don't, I don't do this. I don't know how to express myself. For my special someone. We are at, we are going through something, you and I. I hope you don't get offended by this video because it wasn't for me to like expose what's going on between us. It's just, this is the only way I feel like I can talk to you. I can barely reach you. You know, not everybody's perfect. Everybody goes through things, so. I love you guys so much. The ones who will really, really be watching my stuff. Watching me talk about crazy stuff. Watching my tutorials. I love y'all. And I appreciate you guys. And I hope that you will keep supporting me my special someone I hope you see that this video is like I, I just hope you understand that I love you so much and I'm afraid to lose you I just decided I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delete my social medias because I worked so hard, like, I'm still working so hard, going through this, like, being in a dark time, like, where my depression and anxiety is, like, above my head, I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna keep going. Matter of fact, I do. I am still going with the series, the fall series. I'm not quitting that. I just have to figure out when I'm going to. Um, I just have to figure out when I'm gonna post it because I'm getting out of work late today and tomorrow. But. <clears throat> I'm just happy I got through this video without crying because I literally been crying me talking to myself in the mirror like <sighs> prepping myself I was just boo crying and I'm tired of it so basically what I want to tell everyone is you we all go through things in life we all have our own struggles some of us are depressed, more depressed than others. Some of our anxieties go everywhere. Never give up. Always love yourself first. Keep going. Like, honestly, and talk to someone and keep grinding because eventually, like, you're going to realize, whoa, I'm okay. I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting better. Like, Yes, I want to give up, but I'm still going and I'm feeling a lot better now that I didn't give up. We all need a shoulder to cry on. You could cry on mine. I could cry on yours. So those of you who, who are wondering if I'm okay and just didn't have the courage to ask me if I'm okay, the answer is no. No, I'm not okay. Yes, I will be okay. And I felt like... I let so many people down. Like I spoke to people about not hurting yourself and then I did it. But then you have to understand we all have relapses. Everyone has it. That's all I have because I hate talking about this stuff. And I really do hope that someone going through certain situations that I'm going through can look at this video and be like, okay. There is hope. I can get through this. And I will get through this. With or without support in my life. 
y'all already know make sure you like comment and subscribe hit the notifications bell for videos and situations like this tutorials and if you don't you already know <laughs> but all right bye guys